coast is clear. Right, let's go. Oh, Nadgers, what kind do you want? Rubber ones. <laughs> yeah, but there's, there's ribbed, there's ticklers, and there's ultra-sensitive. Ripped? Yeah. Who's going to want a ripped condom? <laughs> now, that must be for people who want to get pregnant. Well, I don't think ultra-sensitive is our style, do you? <laughs> <laughs> right then, a tickler it is. Oh, Natchez, what colour? What have they got? There's black, there's gold, there's Union Jack, or there's leopard skin. <laughs> Which do you think is the most romantic? Well, Union Jack, of course. Well, Union Jack tickler, then. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, Natchez, what flavour? Flavour? Yeah. There's banana, strawberry, peanut butter, Marmite or cheese and onion? Well, everyone likes cheese and onion, don't they? Of course they do. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Cheese and onion flavour, Union Jack tickler it is. <laughs> Bagsy me first go with it. <laughs> Get two. Get two? Yeah. Wild man. <laughs> I'm the DIY expert. Right, let's have a look at the little fella. <sighs> yeah, I think I see the problem. What is it? Ah! Oh! Ah! Give me my Johnny! Give me my Johnny! Ow! There's two oh. birds out there in the bar who just screaming for it! Give me my Johnny! Get off here! Give me my Johnny! I just want to do it and do it and do it to those two birds at the bar! Oh, oh. You want to what? Um, he, he, he wants to do it and do it and do it to those two birds in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, look! More jollies than is humanly possible to use in a week! Right! Did you hear what I said? Yes, I said. I said, sad old git section. <laughs> Please, I've only got so many ribs, no coward. <laughs> what do they normally put? Well, he's not going to get very far, is he? Gay? <laughs> Don't knock it, Eddie. Cuts down the field for guys like us. All right, let's have a look at this. Gay, 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 widow, gay... Ah! Widow. <laughs> widow. Busty. Raven-haired. Millionaire-ess. Gay. <laughs> Gay, gay... Hang on, Eddie, this is the gay section. <laughs> so, look... Ugh, what's this? Instant sex appeal. You can get it in a bottle. <laughs> Pheromone sex scent. Women cannot resist this powerful love smell. Scientifically distilled from mystical African orchids. Wow! And look, it's medically proven. This stuff attracts women like you would not believe. Karachi Medical Gazette. <laughs> Available at all good sex shops. This is it, Eddie. Girl City, here we come. What do you think, old chum? <laughs> Nil desperandum. <laughs> You, sir. <laughs> this is a sex shop, isn't it? Yes. I'll have five quid's worth then. <laughs> Very droll, sir. I've never heard that one before. Haven't you? Shall I tell it again? No, thank you, sir. I'd rather have a pineapple inserted violently into my rectum. <laughs> You've been working here too long, mate. Can I help you, sir? No. Do you wish to purchase anything to assist you with your sex life? <laughs> what are you implying? That I'm some sort of sexual inadequate? I have a very full and rich and varied sex life. Thank you very much. I don't need anything from a shop like this. Would you get out then, sir? No. <laughs> Why not? It's a secret. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, 
have two bottles of pheromone, please. Pardon? <laughs> two bottles of pheromone, please. Pheromones! Oh, yes, that's the sex spray for inadequate men who find it impossible to attract women. <laughs> Come on, yes. Isn't it, sir? Oh, I've got no idea. Not being a pervert, I'm not up on these things. Your sex spray, gentlemen. <gasps> I've got it! Fantastic! Give me mine! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, I mean, well, well done, Doctor. I'm not a doctor. Shut up. <laughs> we are men of science. <laughs> we live our lives on a higher plane than you do, Buster, where truth and purity and virginity are the only things we respect. That's right, Richie. Let's get back to the flat, bung a bit of this on, get down the pub and see if we can pick up some birds. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, hello. I wonder if I could just read your meter. Hello, Mr. Gasman! Uh, yes, hello. You what? Hello, Mr. Gasman! Uh, yes, hello again. I wonder if I could just read Mr. your meter. Gasman! 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 Do you have someone who looks after you? <laughs> could I see them? Because I need to read your meter. Who is it, darling? Mr. Gasman! Um, yes, I think we've established that. Well, don't leave him out in the cold, Dreamboat. Show him in. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's nice and warm in here. Right, I'll just have a look at your meter, if I may. Ah, yes, he is a little fella. <laughs> oh, you don't want to look at that, mate. It's very boring. I had a look at it once and fell into a coma. Well, actually, that's where you're wrong. Because the ones on this street are particularly interesting. Oh, really? Why is that then? Well, there's been a complaint from someone in this street that they're paying too much for their gas. <laughs> We've got to check all the meters in this street and make sure everything's okay. <laughs> Have you checked next door yet? No, the next. Oh. That is, if I don't knock off before I get to him. <laughs> right, so. Uh, Quarter to six now, so if it takes me 15 minutes to do this one, uh, probably won't get you until tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. What? Is there some sort of a problem, officer? Oh, it's just a strange reading. Really? <laughs> what does it say? Not, 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 not. <laughs> yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> We don't use gas, do we, Eddie? I don't even know what it is, mate. <laughs> what is gas? All right, all right, don't spoil it. <laughs> so how'd you keep it so warm in here, then? We, we make love. <laughs> no, no not, not together, you understand. On our own. Uh... That's very interesting. <laughs> Takes all sorts, don't it? <laughs> right, uh, I think I'll be on my way, then. No! No! Wait! What is it? Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> tea? Uh, no, I don't think I will, thank you very much. You must! You must! You must drink our tea! It's the best tea in London! Sit down and drink it for about 12 minutes. Right, uh, yes, I'd love a cup of tea. Thank you very much. <sighs> How are we going to get rid of the body? Well, I'm still all in favour of eating him. I mean, it doesn't matter about the gas problem, we could have him cold. I don't like the look of him. Well, that's not a problem. We'll sellotape a picture of Sue Carpenter over his face. You'd soon tuck in then, wouldn't you? I know I would. All right, well, here you go, then. Oh, great. Here we go. Oh, God, there's so much to choose from, isn't there? Um, dum -de dum -de dum -de dum <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. I've got a better idea. We don't have to eat him. We'll get someone else to eat him for us. Great, he's still open. Hello, I'm Al. How's the kebab business? <laughs> yeah, 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 all right. I don't want a conversation about it. It was just an English pleasantry. <laughs> well, how many you want for meat? Yeah? I'll bugger you, then. <laughs> Damn. No good. He said his Alsatian got run over this morning, so he's all right for meat for the rest of the week. <laughs> what are we going to do with the body? What body? Hiddy. That is absolutely... <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah, well, it's early days. We've got to flatten him out a bit. 
That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. You know, I think we're going to get away with this. All right, I'll pretend to be a policeman. Okie doke. Hello, hello, hello. What's that dead body doing under the carpet? <laughs> oh, hey, I've just had an idea. Why don't we stick him on a bus? Yeah. No, no good. The conductor would notice when he didn't pay his fare. No, no, why don't we stick him on a bus? Because the conductor would notice when he didn't pay his fare. I mean, on the roof. Oh! You don't get conductors on the roof! Exactly! That's what makes the plan so flawless. Nobody will find him till he gets to the depot, and even then they won't know where he's come from. Yeah! Well, not unless they look at his pocketbook and see that the last job he had today was here. Oh, uh, Well, that's no problem. Oh, look. He's got a fiver here. That should come in handy. <laughs> right, then. Where are we? Uh, here we are. Right. Uh, no problem with the meter in this flat. Don't check for another three hundred years. <laughs> nice people, especially the bloke with the glasses, who wasn't holding a frying. <laughs> uh, nice atmos altogether, really. All right, Dickens, get on with it. <laughs> Left in high spirits <laughs> to indulge in my hobby of bus surfing. <laughs> oh, quick, Eddie, there's one of the lights. Straight away. Oh. You better get home to your wife. Right, yes. I haven't got a wife. That'll be the amnesia, mate. All oh, right, yes. Uh, uh, I wonder where I live. Yes. Ah! <laughs> 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 nice statistic. <laughs> seen any money. Well, I've been busy, haven't I? <laughs> How much is it? £11,645.66. <laughs> new pence. I've got 30p. <laughs> Better get out of my house then, haven't you? Well, it's not your house, it's your aunt's house. For the purpose of this conversation, I am my aunt. <laughs> Hello, Mabel. What is she here? <laughs> she hide the fags. Hello, auntie. <laughs> right, that's it. Get out. <laughs> You're the tops. Let's have another cup of that delicious elm tea. <laughs> oh, well, it's either that or nasty, Linda. 
Educational programs, I just think they could, you know, sex them up a bit. What do you think, Richie? <laughs> this is all so silly. I mean, just because the television set got jammed onto the light channel during the fall, and at precisely the same moment, my trousers accidentally fell down due to heavy housework. Richie, there's no reason. Richie, don't even try it. Just put the TV back onto Miss World, and we'll say no more about it. They'll say no more about it. No. <laughs> Thanks. Now go it. away. Get a word of this. Well, that's because she's talking in Chinese. Hang on, I'll give it a bow. You sorry. stupid kid! I'm ten grand sorry. riding on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you do that? Then, shall I? <laughs> Dear Eddie, by the time you read this, I will be dead. I know you'll be feeling terribly guilty, but don't blame yourself, although it really is your fault. <laughs> if I was alive, I would forgive you, but I'm not, so I can't, so you'll just have to live with it. <laughs> Richard. Poor Blighter. <laughs> All he needed was the love of a good woman. Well, not even a good one, any old one would have. <laughs> it's 
slap a wig on a spit your weight machine and he'd have been happy. <laughs> and now he's got it done himself in. <gasps> well, this sort of fetish of quit. <laughs> yes, yes, I know what you gypsies get up to when the lights go out. Extended family is just another word for a sexual free-for-all. Well, you are not in Romania now, buster, and I'm going to go and get a British policeman. Oh. Uh, what are you... Uh, uh, you are going nowhere till I get my 45 quid. Eddie, help! Hang on. Um, why don't you give me another crack at the 50 quid star prize and we'll call it double on quids? Yeah, all right. Good luck, Eddie. Uh, excuse me, mate. Yeah. Oh, my God, there's another one. Crush <laughs> my palm, Vesuve. No, I will not. You and you all have had more than enough of me today. Thank you very much. Then you must leave the tent. Nothing would give me a greater pleasure. How's it look, Eddie? Well, on a scale of one to ten, I'd say it's bicycle clip time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, you old battle axe. You may read me my fortune. First, you must cross my palm with silver. Look, I can't cross your palm with silver. I've just had my wallet nicked. You're a fortune teller. You should know that. Cross my palm with silver. <sighs> but I've only got 5p left. That's not enough. Oh, give me strength. Well, look, can't you crisscross it about the place a it's bit? It's not enough! <laughs> well, just give me five pence worth, then. We know you get it all from the Evening Standard anyway. For 5p, your future's gonna look pretty bleak, mate. <laughs> have you got a licence for what you do? I bet you haven't, have you? I think either you give me a free fortune telling, or I'll phone the police and tell them. Yeah, and I'll deport you back to Amogumaland or wherever it is you come from. <laughs> You'll eke out the rest of your days making little elephants from bits of dried banana. Yes, I have got a licence, unlike you. Your driving licence is a fake. How do you know that? Eddie, maybe your crone's got something. Yeah. Looks like dropsy. <laughs> My licence doesn't say Martin Andrews crossed out and Sir Richard Richard VC, crudely written over the top of the plastic in Biro. How do you know these things? I see everything. What else do you see? I see... Oh, I see a naughty nudie picture of a little lady with Julia Somerville's face plastered on top of it. <laughs> Bloody hell, Eddie. That's my secret love picture that nobody knows about. <laughs> She's a genius. Yeah. Hey, ask if she can see a picture of Julia Somerville with her own body, will you, Dee? <laughs> Shut up, Eddie. And whether we can get a copy of it, it'd be worth a fortune. <laughs> I think the crone might be worth a fortune. Tell me more, old bag. <laughs> I cannot tell you more without more money. Well, I haven't got any more money. Well, give me your watch. Oh, all right. There you are. Ah, before the moon rises three times. Yes, yes. You're gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna... What? You are going to die. No, no! The power is fading. Here, let me have a look. Uh, the aura is dimming. God, what a swizz! Oh, well, what do you expect for 5p? And my watch? It's broken. <gasps> She's a genius! <laughs> Out the way, out the way, out the way. <laughs> Look, are you terminal? <laughs> come on, come on. I want to see a doctor. Do you have an appointment? Of course I have an appointment. What's your name? Uh, Williams. Oh, Mr. Williams. Goodness gracious, you are looking well. Well, you know, I like to put a brave face on it. One doesn't like to wallow in these things. Uh, yes, and you've grown two new legs. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> no, no, not Williams. That other name that sounds like Williams. Uh, uh, there it is, Henderson. <laughs> I always get those ones mixed up. That's even more remarkable, Mr. Henderson. You died at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> Change sex. All right, Poirot, so I haven't got an appointment. Why didn't you make an appointment?
appointment. Because I didn't know I was going to be ill. I'm sorry, sir, but unless it's an emergency. It is, it is. It's an emergency. Why, what's the matter? I've only got three days to live. Why, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Well, how do you feel? I feel great. Look, there's some genuinely sick people in here who need attention. Yeah, I think you're one of them, missus. I'll see you in a week next Friday. So this is it, is it? This is the land fit for heroes. I hurt my leg in the Falklands conflict for this, did I? Did he? Oh, yeah, yeah. He tripped over the coffee table trying to switch channels. Well, it's just not good enough. I pay my taxes. Uh, well, uh, well, anyway, that's not important. I demand to see a doctor right now. Oh, what's the matter? Are they all round the back flogging off the morphine? Look, I've got a dying woman in here. Will you shut up and get out? You look perfectly well to me. Perfectly well? Look, Buster, if I'd wanted a transvestite's opinion, I would have gone to the whiskey a go go. I'm here to see a doctor. Do you mind? I'm Sir Roger Cobhamoby, the world famous heart surgeon. This is my hospital. Now then, you look perfectly well to me. Shut up and get out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> sorry, I didn't recognise you there, Doc. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've got bad eyesight, you see. It was a Falklands war wound. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again, mate. Morning. <laughs> See? British shopkeeping, Eddie. Best in the world. <laughs> yes, yes. Tuna, good. <laughs> We're a nation of shopkeepers, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes us so great, you know. They don't call it Great Luxembourg, do they? <laughs> or Great France. What's so great about being a nation of shopkeepers? What's so great about being a nation of shopkeepers? Yeah, what's so great about it? Well, it makes us superior to everyone else. Because we know how to run a corner shop. <laughs> Good grief, Eddie. It only takes an ounce of brain power to see that. Well, that should suit you perfectly, then. How do you mean I don't understand that? <laughs> oh. The whole cast of Brookside are lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> British journalism, Eddie. Best in the world. Nora! Neil Kinnock's grandparents were homosexual Martians. <laughs> He's kept quiet about that, hasn't he? Yeah. Lucky I read that, I was going to vote Labour. Uh, you know the great British scoop, Eddie. <laughs> I'd like to see the Amsterdam Evening News dig up something like that. <laughs> Frogs. Else, you can get AIDS from bicycling. I know, I know. <laughs> And isn't it funny that you only read that sort of thing in a British newspaper? Yeah, well, you don't read French or Italian papers, do you? Well, I don't speak French or Italian. Good grief, Eddie. Hold together a cogent argument, why don't you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Holidays in the Algarve. Look at this. No electricity, no running water and 1,500 quid a month. People pay for this. South of France. We bloody invented it, mate. George III, he was the one. All that swimming business. And the windbreak. Who invented that? We did. The Brits. Never mind covering yourself in Mazzola and lying around with a bit of string up your crack. <laughs> now, quick dip in the briny, dig up a lugworm and back in the car before you get pneumonia. <laughs> yep, that's good enough for me. Oh, look at this. 38 quid return coach trip to Nice. Nude beach. Oh, excuse me. I didn't get my paper this morning. So? It's not my problem. Be more careful. No, it wasn't delivered. Oh, I get it. Trying to get a free paper, are we? Spend all morning doing that, and you could open up a little paper shop, couldn't you? Look, I don't know what your game is, but I didn't get my paper delivered this morning. Now I have the mail on Sunday, so if I could just take one now, please. No, that's the last copy. OK, I'll take that one. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm reading that. Yeah, but it's mine. Look, it's even got my name on it. Well, that's your name, is it? 55P. <laughs> Mr. 55P. <laughs> no, my name is Cooper. Look, it's written in biro in the corner. All right, then, Mr. Cooper. There's your paper. Good morning. <laughs> well, where's the rest of it? What do you mean? Where's the rest of it? I would like the rest of my paper. Well, then I suggest you go outside, knock, and come in and ask for it nicely. What? Oh. <laughs> See, Eddie? Yeah, bye, John. <laughs> thug. British thugs, Richie. Best in the world. <laughs> Here he comes. 
Here he comes. And he's out! No, no, hang on now. Oh, no, he's back in again. <sighs> She's closed the curtains. <laughs> How's the cricket going? Well, it still hasn't started yet. His stumps are very big, aren't they? Let's have a look. <clears throat> That's the rugby ground. <laughs> oh, cricket's over there. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? They've broken for lunch. <laughs> Why are you putting mayonnaise on your face? It's not mayonnaise, it's suntan lotion. Never heard of low calorie suntan lotion. <laughs> what? Oh no, blast! <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, where's the suntan lotion, then? You squirted that into your cheese roll. <laughs> but I ate that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, why didn't you tell me? Because I don't like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're joking me. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is the life, isn't it? <sighs> I should have been a farmer, you know. I really am a birth child. I know the deep movement. Only deep movement you know is when you've had a curry. <laughs> I am part Red Indian, you know. That'll be the curry again. <laughs> no, I am. Cherokee. Do you know, I can even tell when it's going to rain. How'd you do that? Well, I sort of look up mystically, you know. <laughs> check out the sky. If I see any black clouds, that's it, I think. Rain. <laughs> what was your Red Indian name, then? Running Mouth. <laughs> sitting Down. <laughs> talking Bollocks. <laughs> Dances with the Wind. That'll be the curry again. <laughs> Look, I'd advise you to take me seriously, young man, or I might very well make it rain. Well, that'll be good. Go on, then. Breezy trousers, or whatever you name it. <laughs> or maybe rain. Eddie, you don't dabble with the deep forces. Look, there's not a cloud in the sky. I'll give you 25 quid if you can make it rain. You're on. Right. I shall need a tomahawk. Uh, oh, this will do. No, it's good, actually. Right. Now, this may not work properly, Eddie. I'm used to working in moccasins. <laughs> right. Put up your brolly. This is going to be a big one. <laughs> Hi -oh! oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Omalapapiom, 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 umpa rain! <laughs> it worked! Look, Eddie, it... Oh, bloody hell! Oh, God! Oh, I must have used the wrong chant. What are you going to do now, then? Bring down a typhoon of buffalo dung? <laughs> I'd advise you to take me seriously, mate, or I'll invoke the big spirit. He doesn't mess around. Oh, pull the other one, mate. He's got bells on. That. <laughs> Mystical forces, Eddie. Mystical forces. Rubbish. It's a shop. We got a customer. Eddie. Yeah. Careful with that step. What step? What? <laughs> You're what? I was going out tonight. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was going out with my real friends. <laughs> well, well, they can come too. So long as they bring a bottle and don't steal all my birds. Well, who on earth's going to this party? Well, I don't know. It's 20 or 30 of my close chums. Who's confirmed? Oh, Eddie, you're so old-fashioned. <laughs> Nobody confirms invites these days. They just sort of turn up when they feel like it. It's a very informal, easy-going sort of arrangement. I very much approve. It's a breath of fresh air, if you ask me. So no one's confirmed. <laughs> That's right. No one. It's great. <laughs> oh, by the way, Eddie. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing now? Happy birthday to me. <gasps> I see. <laughs> Happy birthday, Richie. Oh, Eddie, you shouldn't have. You know I don't like anyone to make a fuss at my birthday. It's a bit small, isn't it? <laughs> Is this how much you value our relationship? 
Oh, but well, what the hell? I may as well be nice about it. <sighs> oh, I wonder what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a comb. <laughs> it's my comb. <laughs> my comb that I lost last week. <laughs> and now I'm giving it back to you. Happy birthday! Look, this isn't some sort of joke, you know. This is my birthday. You take this wrapping paper and you get me something good or else. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Ooh! Ah! That's a bit more like it. That's bigger, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. It's, it's the remote control from the television set. <laughs> That's right. What do you want to watch, birthday boy? Right. <laughs> That's it, Eddie. This time you have really overstepped the mark. It's a fight. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I've got your real present here. It's a piece of paper. It is a small piece of paper. Read it. Madame Swish. 3.30. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you haven't. Oh, what a pal you are. Madame Swish. Ooh, ugh. Oh, God, at last, I'm really going to do it. I'm on my birthday as well. Oh, I wonder what she's like. She's a dead cert, mate. A real stayer. <laughs> really? Yeah, she'll come first. What, before me? <laughs> Good grief, that's quick. <laughs> so she'll think I'm great. Oh, what a pal you are! <laughs> and it's all paid for? Um, not exactly. I need a tenner. A tenner? Right. It's quite cheap, isn't it? Uh, well, no. In that case, it's a tenner each way. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many ways are there? <laughs> well... You'll come first, second or third, won't you? <laughs> well, how many people are going to be there? Well, a few thousand. What? <laughs> but it's Kempton. Kempton? I can't get down to Kempton by 3.30. You don't have to, mate. It'll be on the telly. <laughs> They're going to televise it? Well, what if my auntie's watching? Well, what's illegal about betting on a horse? A horse? Yeah. Madame Swish is, is, is a horse. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Oh, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Just checking. I have given you a red-hot tip. I know, and there's nothing I can do about it now, is there? <laughs> it's be a long time. I'd do it in your glass, mate. Is anyone coming? <sighs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't come in. It distinctly said on the invite, no jeans. Uh, and you, where's your bottle? Well, you can't come in either, then. And, and you 20 birds. I told you, no bikinis. Bugger off! In fact, I've decided none of you can come in. That's right, all 2,000 of you, bugger off! I've decided I'd rather play with Eddie and his great mates. Yes? Well, I don't care if you are Valerie Singleton in the nude. Bugger off! I think you should see a doctor, mate. Guys, guys I have fixed it. Come on out of the corner. I fix it so you don't have to stay there anymore. I don't know if you ever heard me at all or not, but uh, I told everyone else to go away. Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought, you know, let's just have a nice little private party. Me and Eddie and his two great mates. I mean, we're the hardcore, aren't we? Come on, drinks all round. <sighs> so, uh, uh, mate, um, tell me about this road sign. Sounds great. <laughs> Is it all right to talk, Eddie? Yeah. Well, they put up this new road sign which says give way. But, like, the thing is, the old one said give way as well, so there's no real difference. They're just the same. So, what I was saying was, why did they put up the new one? And I mean, everything would have just been the same. We're really the guys, aren't we? Hey, 
Sherry, I know. Let's all get completely drunk and play Postman's Knock. Where's that Sherry? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit warm, isn't it? Mm. So, uh, what's Postman's Knock mean? Oh, right. Well, well, mate. <laughs> what's your name again? Spud Gun. Spud Gun. Why do they call you Spud Gun? Well, give me a potato and I'll show you why. Oh. <laughs> no, no, don't make sure you, you don't want to see that. Well, why do they call you Hedgehog? Give me a hedgehog and I'll show you why. <laughs> why don't we just move on, eh? What, what are the rules to this fantastic postman's knock? Oh, right, it's great, right? All the birds sit round in a vast circle, right? Then I go out into the hall and one by one, all the birds come out and snog me. <laughs> right, so we'll give that one a miss, shall we? Uh, I know. What about sardines? What about them? Well, they're a kind of fish, aren't they? Ah, that's right, they are! <laughs> we're all incredible, aren't we? <laughs> what a great time we're having. No, but let's be sensible for a moment and sort out the rules. Right, sardines is a game, right? One of us goes outside and hides and all the others have to come and look for him. But when they find him, they hide with him and they smog with him. Uh, if they want to. Uh, if they're a bird, right? Which we're not, so we probably won't. Right, no, we give it a try. <laughs> no, we won't give it a try. Uh, OK, so who wants to go and hide? Me! Ha-ha! <laughs> you there. Right, close your eyes and off we go. 